Holiday season is all about the spirit of giving, and people in Detroit will be able to help someone else with the push of a button. Detroit is one of only a handful of cities with a giving machine. They allow users to give rather than receive, and they're set up at Campus Martius right now through December 8th. Jeff Day, the stake president in Metro Detroit for the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, joins us now. Tell us how it all works. Jeff, thanks for joining us so much. And you know, what's really the idea behind these giving machines? Yeah, thanks, Jack. I mean, the, the idea behind this is to love your neighbor. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we follow sort of a disciple call, you know, to do our best to emulate the life of Jesus Christ. And for us, you know, reaching out into the communities is such an important part of that. And the whole idea is to give. Um, and, and that's really what this is all about. Yeah, so you said these uh, yeah. giving machines started in 2017. I mean, what has the momentum grown like since that time? I, now we're seeing one right here in our city. Yeah, so they started initially with like global international org organizations that had things like, you know, clean water, food, and, and other things around the world. And where it's accelerated is this desire to have a connection to the local communities. And that's what the Detroit opportunity is very specifically about, is connecting with local charities in Detroit. Yeah. Tell me how this all works, how yeah. people can go down to Campus Martius and donate and what that process looks like. Well, it launches today. Uh, it's been open today. In fact, before we did our press conference, 50 people had just walked up to it and used it without <laughs> us even knowing, uh, which is remarkable. But this is a machine where you will swipe your credit card. You'll see different uh, things that you can purchase, everything from chickens and goats um, that go to third world nations and other places around the world, all the way to counseling for single mothers, you know, here locally in Detroit. Some of our local charities have some very specific and unique things that they've selected for yeah. Metro Detroiters. Obviously, there's not goats and livestock <laughs> in the machines, but the people who donate, they get a takeaway as well, don't they? Yeah, so um, I had an opportunity to have lunch with one of the organizations today that very specifically works with different places in Africa. And uh, when you buy chickens, you, you might think that you're actually providing food to these villages. What you're doing is you're providing a source of income for their families. So what that looks like is uh, those chickens provide eggs and those eggs become commodities that they can trade. And uh, you're providing a, a way of life, you know, a way to sustain life. Yeah. And there's so many different opportunities to do that this year. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about some of the participating charities that are part of all of this as well? Yeah. So we have uh, two, uh, five local organizations. So it's Zaman International. We have uh, Jewish Family Services, uh, Pope Francis Center, um, Catholic Charities of Southeast Michigan, and Focus Hope. Um, those are our local five. Uh, in order to get the machines here, we had to uh, forge those relationships, many of which we already had and many of which we were introduced to. We're, we're a sponsoring organization. We are um, really behind the visionaries you know, here. That's what we're doing is, is amplifying their message. I think what's remarkable about that list that you just gave me of all those charities, it sounds really like a non-denominational effort and people from all walks of life coming together to make this happen. Yeah. The, it, we say light the world and the way we're doing it in Detroit is with love. You know, so this is about loving. It's about kindness and generosity. And it really doesn't know, you know, the languages of our differences. It knows the languages of our of our unity. And I think that's important. Well, Jeff, real quick, tell me uh, how long it's going to be out there at Campus Martius and how people can access yeah, it. Yeah, so you can come on by as early as today. It's open now. Um, we're excited to have it open this evening. The rain's going to subside, it looks like. So it's a good night to come down to the city. And we're through December 8th. Uh, you can also see it during the tree lighting. Um, it's a great time to come down, feel the vibe of the city, and it's super exciting this year. All right, Jeff, thank you so much for speaking with Thanks, us. Jeff. And you'll see me down at Campus Marsh just very soon, pressing all the buttons. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>